Next up, we've got Mr. Page. How you doing, Page? Hey, I'm good, man. Ruben, you know, I love you, dude. I I love meeting up with you out there and all that stuff and hearing the story and everything you do, man. It's great. Your enthusiasm, the stories, the, it's just, it's all beautiful, man. So thank you. Oh, thank you, bro. Seriously, I loved our time together, by the way. Man, gosh, it was everything. Right on. With that, um, Jason's up. We're going to do a um, um, another tutorial breakdown. So I'm going to screen share here. Just give me one second. What's up, everybody? Jason Page here. And tonight I want to talk about something that I see a lot in light painting orbs, and that is orb feet. In a lot of uh, orb light painting, I see people have feet underneath their orbs. And sure, this can be a desired effect if it's what you're after, but I see a lot of images where I don't think that that is a desired effect. And I want to show you a very simple solution to eliminate feet under your orbs. It comes down to a very basic principle in light painting, and that is light erases dark. If you illuminate an area of your image, you can erase something that you either mistakenly put there or maybe you want to just kind of change the color of it or something like that. Light is going to erase dark in your light painting images because again, your camera is simply an instrument for recording light. And if you allow it to record more light, it will erase over the subject image area that had less light. So I just created an orb tutorial that I'll link down below showing how to create this kind of orb if you want to learn more about creating the orb that I'm about to do. But this video is just simply going to be about how to eliminate your orb feet by simply erasing them. It is the easiest thing in the world to do and I will show you how to do it right now. The tools that I'm going to be using for this are again just the diamond plexi from light painting brushes attached to the universal connector to the soon fire DS30. The light that I'm going to use to erase the orb feet is simply the Coach G26 flashlight uh, in the universal connector with a color filter and hood on top. I'm just using a white one here um, just to shine a little light into the scene and erase the feet. The first orb is going to be just using the diamond plexi and then the second one I will use the diamond plexi but come in with the color filter and hood just to illuminate the scene and erase the orb feet. So I'm going to pull my pants up a little bit so you can actually get more of my uh, legs in it so I can exaggerate this a little bit and show you the difference um, of you know again just let's just say I had on a pair of white pants or a pair of blue jeans or something like that something that didn't absorb the light as well as these black pants I just want to show you the general idea of how to erase something from your images using light Let's see what that one looks like. And in that image there, you can see a little bit of my feet um, and legs just underneath it. I know it's exaggerated and looks silly, but what if you're wearing shorts? You know, it's a hot night, you're wearing shorts, trying to create an orb and you get this effect. Now I'm gonna shoot the exact same orb, the exact same way, on the exact same settings. The only difference is I'm going to use this light to kind of paint in a little bit where I will be standing and that again is going to erase my feet because it will be brighter because in light painting and in life light erases dark so here we go And now I'm just going to illuminate the ground a little bit where I was. There's two things that this really does. Number one is that it is going to... It's going to erase where my feet were, but also I think it really adds to the image because, again, that thing would be emitting light anyway. So here we go. Let's see what it looks like. So as you can see in that image, you don't see my feet at all. Again, all you're doing is erasing, using a light, you're basically erasing the darker part of the image. So the legs are darker in the first image and I can just go in with light and erase them. So I hope this little video helps you guys out with your orb feet and showing you how to erase them. If you wanna have orb feet, 
cool. If you don't want them, this is a super easy way to get rid of your orb feet. And again, it's a principle that can be used in all your light paintings. Light erases dark, just remember that in light painting and in life. I've known Mr. Page for a lot of years. Well, since 2014, uh, to me, it's a good good number of years. So I've got a general sense of his personality, who he is. And I can tell you guys, it is driving this man crazy being sitting here watching himself talk on a video. It is He's going over there just crazy in his head. He's like, come on, <laughs> get this over with. But... <laughs> You are 100% correct. I, I know, and I'm man, just sitting here going, God, <laughs> I talk way too much. I need to shut the heck up. <laughs> right? <laughs> what a cool technique, though, man. Um, you know, how did you uh, how did you first discover um, using this? You know, I, and I love the phrase that you use, light erases dark in life and in light painting. Um, you know, cool, cool slogan. Yeah, man. It just, uh, it's. Again, it's a simple fact that your camera is recording light, right? So if you allow it to re record more light over a darker area, it's going to erase whatever is there. Um, and going back to Ruben over here and his experiences in bringing these people and allowing people to be seen uh, that have maybe not felt seen and just using light to illuminate them and show their spirit, show their energy, show all that. That's that light erases darkness, right? There's so much more to light painting that we do as light painters, especially what Ruben does and things like that in that human connection, that human experience where light does truly erase dark. You know, I know uh, it's very therapeutic light painting for myself, going into a dark space, something that could be scary and then lighting it up, you know? And uh, I don't know, that's that whole light erases dark thing, but technically speaking, it's because your camera records light. And if you allow it to record more light, it erases the dark. Right. You know, I, I remember when um, when you were here in Virginia and uh, we went down to the uh, the waterfalls and we were getting ready to do some light painting down there. And I started my camera and I started just running off in the dark. And Jason was like, dude, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, and then he showed you showed me where you took the red light and uh illuminated the path to where i was going to stand up on those rocks and then just erase it you know with the lens hood out of the uh you know so it was super cool when i just remember that that experience that we had in learning that so um really neat does it is there anybody that might have any questions about um you know the tutorial we just watched I do not see any questions. I think it's a relatively simple one, but I do like the light erases dark that backs up what Ruben does. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. But um, yeah, man, that's that's all I got. That's the uh, light erases dark. If you've got something in your image, in particular, if you got those feet under your orb, which I see a lot of still to this day, and you want to get rid of them, all you got to do is illuminate that space underneath. And another thing I like to talk about is I like to think about anything you create, like any kind of those light sculpture type things, whether it's an orb or anything like that. I see a lot of them where like people will create the orb or create whatever design, but they don't have any light like emitting from it, right? Because I like to think of it as if that thing was actually there, if I'm actually witnessing this event, this orb in the woods, that orb would be emitting light. So I always try to like light up the scene as if it was actually there in that space 